Hello, this is Trevor. Today we're doing something just a little bit different. So I won't be doing any lab today, but I do wanna do some test preparation. So we've gone through about just over a third of the exercises or the labs to get Burp Suite certified. And what I thought I would do is try to start organizing the exploits and the results of those into stages. So we know that the to during the test there'll be three phases that you get that you have to go through for each of the web apps that you're attacking. And this is true as of right now. So if things change, I apologize. But number one, we need to go from no account to having a user access. Number two, we need to privilege escalate from user access to admin access. And that admin portal is at slash admin. And then the last step, we need to go from admin access to reading a file. And that file is at home Carlos secret or localhost 6566. All right, with that in mind, I took the vulnerabilities in the labs that we've done and broke them out into the results of exploiting that vulnerability and then put them where I thought that they are most likely to be used. And yeah, so let's go through this. So no account to user access, SQL injection, login bypass, right? Um, there's probably not going to be, and this is assumptions on my part, uh, but whatever, that's what it is. So notice how I have SQL injection down here with read database entries, right? But not up here. And the reason why is if there's a user admin account and a, sorry, if there's a user account and an admin account and I'm able to read database entries, then that means I can just bypass this stage, read the admin account and log in as admin. And I don't think that, I think they want you to go through, there's no, I think they state even, there's no point in starting to get at, trying to get admin without user. So that's why I have read database entries here um, and not up here. Okay, so for, to get account access, like I said, we can use exercise or exec, whatever. SQL injection, exploit single ex SQL injection to get login bypass. Cross-site stealing, we have we could steal cookies, capture passwords, maybe do some CSRF, and that would be, the results of the CSRF would be a submission of a form. So maybe like a change email or change password or something like that. This is highly dependent on what's available in the app. For cross eight request forgery, again, we're submitting a form, um, exact same vulnerability here, um, but we also have the option to do XSS. I didn't add that here because, yeah, why would you XSS to CSRF to XSS? Anyway, uh, click jacking, submit form, XSS, and then you would look here to see what you could do with those. Cores, um, you read the results of the request and you can do port scanning. So I don't think port scanning, I'm going to delete this. I don't think that makes sense here. What does port scanning give you until admin access? Yeah, I'm going to delete it. And of course you build your study sheet however you know, you think is appropriate, but so read re results of a request. Again, this is highly dependent on what's available um, to be requested, whether or not this is actually an attack that we want to see. So what I, how I imagine using this is I'll look at the, you know, the website, see what's available and then see which, and then work backwards, right? in this category. So if there's a login page, I'll know, I'll search for login bypasses and try these. If uh, 
cookies, whatever. And so if there's a request that gives me, that could give me user access, I'll look to see what, what I could do to um, get that request submitted. For user access, so elevating privileges to admin access. Again, I have cross-site scripting. Um, I think this is certainly possible. Still cookies, capture passwords. SQL injection, um, now we're reading database uh, entries. So if we could, as a user, get the admin password, boom, we can log in as the admin. CSRF, again, maybe there's a get, like in the exercise there was <clears throat> get the admin's API account, something like that. Um, Click jacking, same thing. Cores and port scanning. I don't know how this, I don't know if this is gonna do any good. I'm gonna delete this here too. Because how does port scanning give you admin access? Oh, maybe, maybe through, there was that one attack where we got that EC2 thingy secret key i don't know that one's a hard one so let me know in the comments what you think where this course should go and how it will be used and then finally admin access uh file access so we have an admin account and now we need to read files off of the system the it states that the flag is either in home carlos secret or there's also possibly an SS or a, a file server at localhost 6566 that we may be able to use to read uh, the secret. To do that, uh, I put cores, um, read results of a request, and XXE to read local files. And of course, SSRF, um, port scanning to identify it. No, I'm going to delete this also there okay course is a difficult one for me but read recall results of a request maybe we can um send a request to this file server and uh read the results so that's what i have so far um as we at finish you know the attacks or, or a category i'll add to this this growing tree so that I'm ready for the uh, lab or the, the certification. That's it. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. If you have any improvements to this or maybe a different way that you, you would put this type of thing together, let me know. I'd appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much. Goodbye.